into there. Don't shoot. Just move. don't don't shoot. Move. Don't shoot. Move. Don't shoot. Move. Get out! There were two rules that uh, founder Amy Lichtenfeld emphasized. There can be no rules in a fight, a street fight, combat, hand-to-hand -hand combat, or self-defense when your life is at stake. But on the other hand, to become proficient and to excel at Krav Maga training, we have to use control. In other words, controlled sparring. We stimulate eye strikes into the orbit, into the optimal nerve, into the throat, the groin, the knees, the kidneys, the liver, but obviously we don't use full force strikes because we would disable our partner. Again, the number one rule, besides there being no rules in a fight, is not to get hurt in training. Therefore, Krav Maga must be trained and practiced under controlled conditions. However, we do try to make the training as real as possible. We do train in the street so that people understand how hard the concrete may be. You've got impediments like a curb that you could trip over. You've got cars with your carjacking scenarios. Again, it's strictly a street orientation. It does not take years to master. Uh, in my personal opinion, it's the genius of the system which accounts for its popularity, not the talent of any one instructor, although I happen to train with the best in Israel. Again, simple is the name of the, the uh, operation. And the idea, again, as you saw, is simultaneous defense and attack. I can also use preemptive self-defense, such as if somebody's coming at me and I, I see they intend me harm, to kick them in the groin or kick them in the knee or do whatever I must to stop the situation. But again, I can only emphasize it so many times, but I say it again, it is self-defense and self-defense only. We disengage, we neutralize the opponent. The aim, as Amy said, is to be so good that we don't have to kill. The intention is not to maim or kill permanently. That is not Krav Maga for civilians. The idea is to extricate yourself, to get out of a situation alive, to protect those around you. And of course, if necessary, you have to hurt or maim your attacker, you'll do and so. Uh, the founder, Amy Lichtenfeld, and Chaim Gidan, the, the Grand Master, also said that Krav Maga could be used either by commandos or by criminals. Certain applications, such as some of the lethal force or deadly force encounter techniques. And of course, criminals have no place in Krav Maga. We're very careful who we teach and what we show to the public. Again, it's not a secret society. We're just very, very careful because we do so much law enforcement work, military security work, and certain things are reserved for certain people. Um, and we try to be very, very careful and responsible about the teaching. Today, there are a lot of uh, country uh, government uh, interested in Krav Maga for their uh, military end? Indeed. Krav Maga is now taught all over the world. For our part, we've just come back from uh, Japan uh, two times in two months training the United States Marine Corps. We're very lucky to have trained the United States Air Force, the United States Army. We're a, a provider of the New Jersey State Police. We've trained the FBI, U.S. Marshals, any number of agencies we've trained, federal, state, and local. And they gravitate towards Krav Maga because of its effectiveness, because it's simple to learn, it's instinctive, it's innate, and it can be used under stress and retained from a few times in training. Again, practice is always great, but you don't always have time to practice, and you need to understand things that will come instinctively in a time of need. Well, we have a great deal of respect for the martial arts community. Every fighting discipline has something to offer. Obviously, we're partial to what we do. We have great pride in what we do. Um, again, this is not sport. There's some fantastic uh, mixed martial arts fighters in the world. These guys are amazing. They are as tough as could be. Their stamina, their strength, their skill level is unparalleled. But they are confined by the rules of the ring. There's certain things that they can't do. Eye gouges, throat strikes, base of the skull, kicking out the knee, biting, twisting, breaking arms on the ground. We do a lot of groundwork as well. Uh, using weapons of opportunity. That's not meant for the ring. Of course, people will get injured right away. That's the Krav Maga way, is to take somebody out. Doesn't mean injuring them permanently, but there are no rules. We need to save you. In the uh, mixed martial arts world, which is, again, fantastic, I, I'm a big fan, they have to protect the fighters because, again, what we do, kicking out a knee, putting a thumb in an eye, hitting somebody in the throat, will cause permanent damage. So it's not meant for sport. Um, all the other martial arts are very good. Uh, Krav Maga was developed by Amy Lichtenfeld again, who had a great background in boxing, wrestling, judo, jiu-jitsu. Um, so in some sense, it could be called the original MMA, but without rules.